Wisdom. Prudentia. Justice. Justicia. Temperance. Temperantia. Courage. Fortitudo. Applying ancient philosophy to modern life, this is the Sunday Stoic. Hey, I've got my voice back this week, and we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, Before we move on, I want to thank Grant and Jennifer for joining as patrons. Thank you very much for supporting the show at www.patreon.com slash sundaystoic. My patrons uh, had a discussion. I put up a poll, and they let me know that they would be interested in having a book discussion group as one of their main rewards. So we're going to put that together and get that started soon. So if you're interested, you can join in uh, on Patreon. I also had some cool Sunday Stoic stickers made that I'm going to offer to my, uh, to, uh, f- probably my $5 and up, uh, patrons. If you are all interested, let me know, uh, patrons. But, uh, they look really cool. I'll put some pictures of them up on Patreon soon. But with all that out of the way, uh, like I said, feeling better now, ready to roll. Um, I had big plans of turning 40 and really getting serious about stoic practices, and instead, fate decided that I would lay there on my chair and and uh, and struggle <laughs> struggle with my health for a bit. But I'm uh, hoping to uh, get rolling, uh, get get more active with journaling and uh, and other practices here uh, as as the year continues. So bear, so I'll let you know how that's going as we go. Um, I have some. Some ideas of ways I can improve my actual practice of stoicism so I'm not just talking about it. I hope you are doing similar things. And thank you for those of you who have written in to share your ideas on all kinds of things. Um, I've had listeners uh, send me voicemails about uh, the fear of death. Uh, others tell me about their practices in in, uh, in terms of uh, uh, cold showers and all kinds of other things uh, that help to set them up for the day. And I really appreciate the feedback I get from you on that. And also thank you to the listeners who write in to tell me uh, how the show's helped you. That's really inspiring and gives me a little more fire in my belly to keep this thing going. So thank you for that. Um, this week, I want to talk uh, about a reading from Seneca. Um, it's a little different, perhaps, than the, the view we hear uh, from uh, Epictetus, uh, who's telling us to watch our judgments and to get out there and take action. And, you know, we think of the Stoics as always being in the ring, as it were, always being active in public life. Uh, and that's a, a beautiful thing, to be the one who is out there and working. But we have to remember that folks like Epictetus call on us to also remember who, what our own strengths are, what are our personal strengths, and perhaps not all of us are fit for standing up and making grandiose speeches at a at a, uh, a Senate hearing or, or uh, running for office. Some of us may have skills that are better use are better put to use outside of the public spotlight. Maybe the works we can make in private can benefit society at large. So we're not really withdrawing from society in the way uh, perhaps an Epicurean might, um, but we withdraw work on things like a podcast or a book uh, and then present it to the world. And that also is a strength. Uh, I think of, and I'm, I'm sorry, fans of TV shows and those of you who have never watched Game of Thrones, I don't remember character names off the top of my head, but there's you know, the, the Night's Watch, the, the, you know, they're like these, these badass soldiers, but then the one guy's kind of a little overweight and more into reading books. You know, uh, his role becomes kind of a, uh, a keeper of knowledge and, uh, and the, like the librarian of the group rather than the head soldier. You know, there are things that some of us are suited for and things that we are not. And, and we have to find what those are. And if we try to take the wrong role, like Epictetus warns, we can end up being a f- looking like a fool if we take on roles that are not suited to us. And I think all of that kind of ties in to what Seneca is about to say. So some of what he says might seem a little unstoic on the surface, but I think if we dig deeper, we'll find that it fits well with the philosophy of Stoicism. Seneca on the Tranquility of Mind, Chapter 6 We ought, however, first to examine our own selves, next the business which we propose to transact, next 
those for whose sake or in whose company we transact it. It is above all things necessary to form a true estimate of oneself, because as a rule we think that we can do more than we are able. One man is led too far through confidence in his eloquence. Another demands more from his estate than it can produce. Another burdens a weakly body with some toilsome duty. Some men are too shamefaced for the conduct of public affairs, which require an unblushing front. Some men's obstinate pride renders them unfit for courts. Some cannot control their anger and break into unguarded language on the slightest provocation. Some cannot rein in their wit or resist making risky jokes. For all these men, leisure is better than employment. A bold, haughty, and impatient nature ought to avoid anything that may lead it to use a freedom of speech which will bring it to ruin. Next, we must form an estimate of the matter which we mean to deal with, and compare our strength with the deed we are about to attempt. For the bearer ought always to be more powerful than his load. Indeed, loads which are too heavy for the bearer must of necessity crush him. Some affairs also are not so important in themselves as they are prolific and lead to much more business, which employments, as they involve us in new and various forms of work, ought to be refused. Neither should you engage in anything from which you are not free to retreat. Apply yourself to something which you can finish, or at any rate can hope to finish. You had better not meddle with those operations which grow in importance while they are being transacted, and which will not stop where you intended them to stop. In this reading, um, and, and in other chapters of this reading, as well as throughout the Moral Letters to Lucilius, uh, Seneca often talks of the joys of retirement, of getting away. And that sounds kind of unstoic. Because the Stokes talk about getting out there and doing action and being involved. But his argument is at some point in your life or maybe just your general nature uh, in general um, might be – there might be a time or your personality might be better suited to working behind the scenes or producing – written works that will help others rather than uh, doing a poor job in public, you can do a great job behind the scenes. And so you may have to think about what your role is and where you should stand and, and not feel pushed to do things that are not in your skill set or not in your, you know, in your personality. Um, these are things to consider uh, when you're applying for a job or when you're trying to get a promotion and when you're saying yes or no to a business opportunity. Uh, he's warning us to to not take on burdens that may lead to more burdens. And we all know what that's like. You say yes to one thing and the next thing you know, you're on seven committees that keep meeting at all hours and they le that leads to more committees and more things, more projects. And you just wanted to help out with one thing a year ago and now you're swamped because you – don't know how to say no. So knowing how to say no, knowing how to not feel guilty about not doing everything that you think a good person ought to, it depends on what your role is. What are you good at? What should you pursue? So taking an inventory of yourself may help you to know what you should pursue. And maybe you'll stop beating yourself up over things that you aren't good at or wouldn't be good at. Um, now, don't let that uh, keep you from trying new things, but if there are things that you absolutely know you will not be good at, they are not within your wheelhouse of skills or, or, or your personality traits. You know, if you are not a Gregorious person, if you like, don't like the company of others, then don't take on positions that involve constant contact with crowds of people, you know, that sort of a thing. Uh, so keep in mind your own personal nature as well as your human nature as as epictetus might say when making life's decisions and in doing so you'll be taking one step closer to the happy virtuous life thank you for listening to the sunday stoic podcast it's been my pleasure and honor to speak with you this week i hope you have a good one and i will see you next week carpe diem mm -hmm.
Thank you for listening to The Sunday Stoic. If you enjoyed the show, please subscribe, rate, and review The Sunday Stoic on iTunes. Become a member of the Sunday Stoic team, earn rewards, and be an integral part of the show by becoming a patron at www.patreon.com slash sundaystoic. Contact the show by emailing sundaystoic at gmail.com or by leaving a voicemail at 501-503-3132. To find out more, visit www.sundaystoicpodcast.com. And as Steve always says, carpe diem. <laughs>